Hey, my name is Andy, and today we're gonna set up a security key as your multi factor authentication method for your Newton account. So, MFA stands for multi factor authentication, and with MFA, you're essentially doing an extra step before you log in in addition to your password. And the reason why this is important is because if a hacker steals your password, they will still not be able to log into your account because they don't have that second factor. So, in the case of today, we're learning how to set up a security key. We're gonna go through the setup process for this. I'm gonna guide you step by step. Uh, and if you're doing this on an authenticator app instead, if you click on the description, I have I've also made a guide on how to set this up using an authenticator app instead. Uh, so MFA stands for multi-factor authentication and with MFA you're essentially adding an extra step when you log in in addition to your password. The reason that this is important is because if a hacker steals your password, they would not be able to log in with your account since they would not be able to complete the second step. This second step is called the second factor. Now, uh, today we're going to set up the second factor, which you guessed it, is the security key. We're going to talk about how to set it up, some features on the security key that you should be aware of, and how this impacts your experience using Newton when you have a security key. So first, a security key is a device and it resembles a USB stick. It connects with your other devices, including a laptop and desktop computers as well, to prove your identity on specific devices, online systems and applications, and it works for phones as well. So industry leading security keys include Yubico's YubiKey and Google TitanKey. Uh, so once you're on this screen, uh, you log in as usual. And if this is your first time signing up, you'll end up on this screen. And once you've acquired a security key, then you're ready to log in and set up your MFA method. Upon entering your password and email, you'll see this, right? And in this case, you would, of course, select security key. Next, you will select use security key and connect your security key via USB on your phone or on your desktop. Depending on what your phone or computer supports, you will either connect it via USB or NFC wireless technology. NFC stands for Near Field Communication and it's a technology used for devices to communicate when they're physically close together. This is like the technology in your debit and credit cards when you tap to pay on the a credit card machine. But for this example, today we're just going to use USB. So I'm on a computer right now. All I need to do is physically plug in the security key. Uh, so to plug in the security key, you plug it into the USB port on your device. Once the security key is connected to your device, you should see an indicator light on the key. When the light flashes, you can press or tap the button on your key to complete the connection. And then I'm going to click use security key. And then you should see a pop up window. And then I'm going to hit security key. Uh, again, this is the part where the indicator light lights up. So I'm going to gently tap the security key uh, physically. And if your security key supports NFC, this is going to be a relatively similar process, except you won't actually have to plug it in. You'll just need to bring the key close to your device. So if you're doing this on a phone, for example, usually the chip is near the top. So you bring your key to the top of your device uh, and you wouldn't need to plug it in. Once you connected your device, you should see an indicator light on your key. You press it and this is where you should end up. After your key is connected, you can name your security key. So my name's Andy, so it just defaults to Andy's key. You can name it something different if you want, but I'm just going to leave it. Uh, and then I'm going to hit continue. And this step is optional after that. Um, but you can actually log in faster if you enable biometric login through your device's touch or fingerprint scanner or facial recognition scanner, uh, if your device supports it, that is. We recommend you do that because it provides an additional security measure. By setting this up, you will not need to use your security key to log in every time. Instead, you can use your fingerprint or facial recognition to log in to your Newton account. It's important that if you bypass this step, you'll need to keep your security key handy every time because you'll need to plug it in every time. So we recommend you set this up just so that you wouldn't have to plug in the key every time. But, you know, it's always best practice to put your security key in a safe place and not lose it. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to hit continue and then I can register my fingerprint. In this case, I'm using a MacBook, which has a fingerprint. So now it's registered and that's it. If you hit continue, it will bring you to your new account. So thank you all for listening. If you've chosen to set up an authenticator app instead, check out the link in the video description. 
because there's a guide that I've made for that as well. Thank you all for listening. And remember, if you have any questions or if you encounter any difficulties, be sure to reach out to our support team. Thank you.